station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Katherine Clayton. The action never stops on the International Space Station. This week there was an EVA, a cargo resupply delivery, and plenty of science to keep the crew busy. On Tuesday, NASA astronauts Robert Binkin and Chris Cassidy performed a spacewalk to conduct several tasks to upgrade systems and prepare for future station upgrades. The first task was to install a protective unit called the Robotic Tool Storage, or RITS, used to store tools such as the Robotic External Leak Locator for the Canadian Space Agency's Dexter robot. RITS was installed to the station's mobile base system, where it can traverse around the station alongside a robot that will use the stored tools. In addition to installing the RITS, the astronauts removed two lifting fixtures at the base of the station's solar rays, completed tasks to prepare the outside of the Tranquility module for the arrival of the NanoRax commercial airlock, and routed Ethernet cables and removed a lens filter cover from an external camera. In addition to the EVA, the crew welcomed a cargo resupply delivery. The uncrewed Russian Progress 76 launched on a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Thursday morning and docked to the station's Russian segment on Thursday afternoon. Progress 76 delivered almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies. Progress 76 will remain docked for more than four months before deorbiting into the Earth's atmosphere. There's always time for science and research on the International Space Station. NASA astronaut Doug Hurley conducted the ninth of 10 total plate changeouts for the capillary-driven microfluidics in space investigation. This investigation examines microfluid systems with an aim to improve fluid control in various devices. Diagnostic devices require the separation of blood cells and plasma in order to analyze the plasma without the interference caused by the blood cells. The investigation in microgravity may obtain better particle separation, blood filtering, and improved fluid control in future medical devices that can be used in any environment and orientation. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA, and we'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.